Um, uh, tonight I am crafting at midnight again for a couple reasons. One is I'm on call, so I get called anytime. I don't sleep well when I'm on call. Pager could go off the phone. So hopefully no one calls in the middle of this. Um, the other reason I'm doing it now tonight is because my daughter's last day of basketball is tomorrow. So I made a really quick, really simple coach's shirt and just put my kids' coach's names and a few um, designs. So basically I have a basketball here and I have a whistle on the other side and it has the coach and the coach's name. And so I'm going to show you guys how to do this really quickly, really easily. So whenever you guys have to give a coach a present uh, for being your kid's coach, this is a really personalized, fun, easy way to say thank you. Okay, I'm going to switch the camera so you guys can watch what I'm doing. Okay. So... I've got all of my design already re weeded. Um, so I have the coach's name, pretty simple font in black, um, and then the basketball and the whistle in silver. I was gonna do two different colors, silver and then orange, but I did not actually have enough of the orange to make um, for all, all three coaches. So my son's team had two coaches and my daughter's team just has one. So that's why so many coaches. Um, I'm just going to go through making one of these shirts, not all three, obviously. That would be a long time and too much. Um, I have my EVZ press here set at 330 degrees for 15 seconds each. So pressing this and again, um, to save material, I did not cut it out exactly the way I wanted it. I just cut out the different elements and I'll place it onto the shirt the way I want it. Um, of course, when you do that, you risk maybe it not being perfectly straight, but I don't mind that so much. I think I do pretty well eyeballing it and using a measure, tape measure, as opposed to actually making everything is a, sure and everything is 100% straight. This design, again, was based off of what my daughter wanted. So she looked on Pinterest and she said this is the design she wanted. So this is how I ended up with it. Um, the only changes, of course, were the colors. And then the font is a little bit different than the one that was online um, on Pinterest. So you could, of course, change basketball to whatever ball um, it could be a baseball a tennis ball you know whatever sport it is your kid is playing um, again so these plain shirts do have kind of a midline um, you can actually see on them I don't think maybe you can see but I can see the midline pretty well on the shirt itself and it's on both the front and the back of the shirt. So I'm just gonna line it up based on that. Um, I want my design to kind of start maybe four fingers down from the top of the collar. So maybe a little bit farther down because this is a extra large shirt. And I'm just gonna center it overall based on this middle line. Get the words and fold it in half sticky side out so that you can make sure that this is the true center and again usually just making everything lined up straight is, is takes the longest so you can see that middle line that goes all the way down again i'm gonna put out my basketball i don't think think it matters too much which way you want the basketball out. I'm going to put it a little bit with the design like this. I'm just going to line it up this way. And then the whistle. Got to make sure that it's kind of this way. Overlapping just a little bit. Uh, a little fuzz there. 
and so I'm gonna have to do this in two parts so this is a two-part iron-on and because this is not glitter iron-on it's okay that I layer it um, you cannot layer iron-on on top of glitter iron-on but you can do plain iron-on top of each other so I'm gonna just make sure that and that and start here Start with this one and for 15 seconds with a lot of pressure. And again, this design is super easy. Just a basketball that you can change to whatever sport your child's playing. Uh, and then the whistle. These designs I all got for free online. Um, the one thing about this iron on is that it has it's a cool peel so you do want to make sure that it's cooled off the iron-on I got um, the silver which I love um, and it works really good and it's kind of one of those sport flex type I got on Aliexpress uh, I got a whole bunch of different colors and the irons on perfectly the only thing is like I said it's a cool peel the plain black I got from Cricut um, so this is a Cricut brand um, and again you want to make sure that you do the lower layer first and again it's still a little warm this is the one thing about the this silver sport flex is that it has to be completely cool to peel off the backing um, which is okay, and there's that, and I'm gonna peel this one off, and there it goes, and so, the last part is again lining up, making sure it all looks centered. my center line and then oh, a piece of fuzz in here and you just want to make sure it's lined up with that center line going down the shirt and put my little teflon sheet that is to protect both the heat press as well as your design and your shirt. I'll do this for about maybe a little less than 15 seconds. My final press I want to do for 15 seconds. Okay, and then take that off. And this is again, that's Cricut iron on. So that one is a warm peel and then just for my final press we'll do it for 15 full seconds just iron that on and again I love the heat press it's really safe my kids can be around it and I'm not afraid of them getting burnt because the safety base really does keep it safe for them that there's no chance that they can get burned um, I really do love it. And then we are done. Voila. Take it out, let it cool off, and there's the coach's shirt. Coach, the little whistle, and again, you can change whatever colors. You can change design and style with something really quick and easy as a thank you shirt for your coaches. Okay. Um, please click like if you like this video subscribe if you want to see more um please leave in the comments if there's something more that you want to see again i'm trying to do more videos so this is why this is a live video i don't actually expect anybody else to be up with me at midnight but this is the time that i craft and so this is why we're doing it now um and again you please check out my blog www.mommdhawaii.com to find more um, details about all these projects in detail. Okay, thanks.